Plus, John, what do you think? Um, so... She would be about three weeks. Hey, everybody. I'm gonna take you along today. It's the moment we've been waiting for. Along with another purpose. I'm out here on this desert pasture that I'm keeping some horses on. There was lots of grass because of all the rains. And I just love to put them out here on the desert so they learn to walk around the cactus and around sagebrush and whatever. But they are look, looking so good with all the grass out here. So which three horses are these? If you know their names, comment. I won't say them yet. But man, isn't she gorgeous. Everyone loves this horse, including myself. And then, look at this. Talk about a good looking stud colt. And there you go. So Chipper and Chip 66 and Penny. They've been out here on this desert. And you can see it's treating them well. They're staying fat and sassy. Huh. Don't you love? She's a Palomino Roan. And I just love her coloring. Love everything about this horse. But it's this horse that we need to, I'm taking with me for the moment we've been waiting for. So let me catch her and we'll go load them up. We're gonna take them home. I never like to take a mare from her baby in a barbed wire fence because if the baby tries to get to mama, then they're gonna get hurt, so. I'm gonna take them all home, get some fly spray on them. There's flies all over out here. And uh, then we're gonna take Chipper for a ride. So, with a baling twine halter, that's what I love about our horses that we've had for a while, is how gentle we can get them. And I should have brought a halter with me, but I had a baling twine and that's gonna work just fine. I'll be able to get them all loaded on a trailer with just a baling twine on one horse. So let's go. Okay, so I just parked the trailer here and uh, look at this. It's the best way I've learned to train horses to load. I move them from pasture to pasture often and they know how to do it. Penny, get back on here so I can shut the door. All right, good job. So I got a perfecto de bob. Okay, so I'll leave these two in the round pin and we're gonna Take Chipper for our little ride. Well, I'm about to where we can find out what we've all been waiting to know. A little hint, I'm in Taylor, Arizona, and I'm almost to the house of Sean Palmer, my cousin that ultrasounds mares. And I cannot wait to know if Chipper is in full to gold 66. And so let's go find out.
here and we're gonna go see if Chipper is gonna have a baby. What do you think? And if she is in full, well, I don't wanna count my chickens before they hatch. So let's go see if she's in full. Well, John, what do you think? Um, so she would be about three weeks. She about is, 21 days. She is right at she is right at 20 days right now. She is in full. Oh, awesome. Okay, so so here here's bladder here. Here's here's uh, her uterus. And this is her pregnancy. It keeps popping up right there. That is right at 20 days. The cool thing is, see the reflector at the top? There's, there's one at the bottom. But that's your actual baby right there. This is fluid. The black is fluid. And the little white speck right there. Yeah. It's about as big as a peanut M&M right now. And a, a buckskin peanut M&M, right? With small ears, good looking, <laughs> nice little head. Big hip. Yeah, big hip, a lot of hip. Kind of kind of looks like a, you know, a <laughs> highbrow cat bred horse. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks good. It's the only one in there, no passengers. Awesome. I'm so excited. No extra passengers. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Yep. I am so excited. Um, Chipper is in full to gold 66 and uh, can't wait to see that baby. But while I'm up here in Snowflake or Taylor, Arizona, I'm close to Sholo and I had someone reach out that wants me to try to find a home for a horse. This is happening way too often right now. The price of feed is just crazy and people aren't riding their horses and so they're they're trying to find homes for them. And I just can't take all of them, but this is a friend of mine and we're gonna go get his horse and see if we can take it and find a good home. So anyway, come along, let's go pick it up while we're this close. Well, I stopped to get a drink and I'm getting close to my friend's house. I understand this uh, little mare is a, a nice horse, but the grandkids aren't riding it. And with hay prices, he's just like, hey, let's find it a good home. I'm getting calls like this almost daily lately with the price of hay. And uh, so I have to turn a lot of people away, but because it's a good friend and it sounds like a nice horse, it was worth the drive and it was, and I could get chipper ultrasounded on the way. So anyway, it's beautiful up here near Linden, Arizona. And uh, hopefully we uh, are about there, I think. So this is my dear friends, Alan and Terry. We've known each other for lots of years. <laughs> Alan and I are actually related, but he got all the looks in the family, but. I got all the hair too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just shaved mine off now, but. Anyway, they're the ones that are gonna let me try to find a good home for their horse. What's your horse's name? Duchess. Duchess, and she's 17 years old. What can you tell us about her? She, I think she'll be really good with kids. She's been rode in like 4-H and stuff like that. So uh, she's gentle. I just don't have time and uh, physical ability to take care of her, to ride her anymore. And I'm hoping someone can take care of her and enjoy her. Well, that one looks nice and fit, but he had a heart attack about how long ago? April 18th. April 18th. But he needs his knees fixed and they won't fix his knees for a while. So that's yeah. the problem. He said, I can't even lift the saddle. <laughs> <laughs> I can lift it, but boy, don't try and walk with it. Those knees just kill me. So. Well, we'll try to find a good home for her. Heck, Blake's going to probably enjoy her so much. We'll want to keep her around for a while. But anyway, we'll try to find a good home for her. But thank you for contacting us. You bet. Terry, we're going to put a bucking strap on it and, and let you get on. It'll go viral. No. <laughs> no. I haven't been on a horse since we lived on our farm in Joseph City. All right, let's do this. So this is Alan Bushman. We'll see if Alan Palmer can catch the horse. I would imagine he can walk right up to her. She's really pretty gentle. Unless you let her get out and start running around somewhere. You see that? She's, she's pretty quiet. 
She's got shoes on her right now, but it's about time to have them reset. So, yeah. And we'll see how she loads in a trailer. I've never had her in a trailer before, so this might so be. Her a, name is Duchess? Yeah, her name is Duchess. She loaded right in there. Make sure these two mares don't get in a fight over Alan. Yeah. Then it won't be over Alan, but it may be. Maybe he may be Alan. maybe in between them. <laughs> <laughs> we go. Perfect. Goodbye, Duchess. She's beautiful. Well, I am about home, but look at that storm up there. I thought the monsoons were done, and obviously not. Blake's out playing with some friends on four wheelers for their homecoming date. Last night was the football game and today is the actual date. But look at that storm. Super excited about this paint mare and about Chipper being pregnant. It's been awesome. Today's a, a super busy, crazy day and I really didn't have time for all this and yet it's gone awesome. So now Vicki and I are gonna go and make dinner for all these kids for their homecoming date. When I say Vicky and I, I'm sure Vicky and Casey have done a lot of it. And our daughter Shalea, our daughter-in-law Shalea is here. So don't worry, I'm not gonna overwork myself. I'm sure the, they're doing most of it. I have such an amazing wife. Hope you've enjoyed coming along. And as always, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Have a great day. She's made up. Mississippi Delta Railroad track stretches on forever. Can't rush the river, can't hold it back. Better just surrender to the rhythm of the river. Rolling downstream, running through.
All right, well, if you want to ride her over here, we'll get her put up and then we can head to school. Thanks for coming along today. Have a wonderful day.